Alright guys, so today I am going to be going out yard sailing um, by myself. Eric is home, but he's got some stuff to do at my dad's house. Yesterday we found out that his sump pump stopped working and he lives in an area that's kind of like prone to flooding. So I want to make sure that gets fixed as quickly as possible. So he's going there to fix that. Um, so I'm going to go to some yard sales by myself today. Um, and I got some other stuff that I need to get done, so I'm gonna maybe try and do this video a little bit. <laughs> Eric hit his elbow on my mirror. I thought he was trying to get my attention. Um, I think I'm gonna try and do, like, <laughs> watching him is hilarious. Um, and distracting a, um a vlog of this video um just because i have some stuff to do and i have been in a really talkative mood lately so um yeah i just wanted to say also um, i know i was really worried about the um probate meeting i had with the court that i was doing virtually uh this was yesterday and i was saying like i never used those kind of like apps like the webinar app and stuff like that and I was really worried about it that I was going to have problems like logging in and actually like getting on but it all went smoothly uh essentially like the lady at the court just needed to you know physically see me sign a paper and that was about it like it wasn't anything like lengthy or anything like that so I worried about that obsessively for like a whole week and it ended up like not being a problem at all so um my next step is to um get someone to come to the house and appraise like the things in the house to give like you know a, a price of the contents essentially of the things that he owned and um, sorry, I'm distracted watching her. Um, and then, uh, getting a real estate agent to actually come and, you know, start trying to get the house sold. So, I still have a long road ahead of dealing with all of that kind of stuff. But, I mean, so far, I really like the attorney that I chose. Um, they've been, like, super duper helpful and have been, like, helping me through absolutely everything. So, um, I'm thankful for that. Uh, but we are going to head to some yard sales. There's a couple today. Not, like, a ton. So, but we're going to just check them out, see if we can find anything, and try to have a good day. So, let's get going. Sneaking a peek at Eric. <laughs> he doesn't even know. Let's just watch him. What is he doing? <laughs> I got a bunch of stuff piled up in the garage because we're going to be getting a storage unit to try and just get some stuff out of the house. Um, we're having a little issue with all that stuff is like yard sale stuff, like things that I'm trying to sell at um, yard sale or flea market. Um, so that's why we have like just stuff piled in the garage, but we need to make some room in the house. Let's get a lot of Twilight stuff. That's a cute pillow. Oh, Johnny Cash. This is cute. Little jar here. It's like little woodland creature. <laughs> These kind of match. It's like a whole little canister set. That's really cute. We got a couple down here yet to go to. So let's walk to them.
I used to have this same Halloween bucket. It's funny. It's funny seeing things that you had before. You haven't seen them in so long and then you see them again. It's like, oh yeah, I remember that. Dog doorbell. to look at here. Lots of shoes. Wish these were my size. How cute are those? Clear boots. A lot of lamp. Mouse. He's cute. That's a little knickknack. These are Disney. Oh, they're cute. They're just two of them. Notorious for picking up stuff that's chipped, so gotta be extra careful. I'll have to see how much they are, because I don't know. Elephant's pretty cool. It's got some rubs in and it's paint. Some rock band drumsticks. I don't know if they're desirable or not. Boxes. Oh, goodness gracious, I just knocked a little Easter bunny. Bounce balls. Potatoes. And squash. Pepper. This kind of gave me like Sanrio vibes to it, but I don't think that it is. <laughs> Jelly? Oh, jello! Jello! 
to make jello. That makes sense, like the little like jello jingler. <laughs> it's for hot dogs. <laughs> hot dogs? Well you could make you could use it for jello too. If you want to. <laughs> Alright guys, so I stopped for my free coffee um, today, well yesterday and today, there is a local businessman, he owns two businesses in town, and um, the owner of the little coffee shop here in town um, had to have some surgery done and he wanted to just support their business because it's a just a small local coffee shop and so um, yesterday and today he's paying the tab for absolutely everybody's coffee that comes in um, he shared it on Facebook so it's been getting around so they're getting like a ton of business because I think a lot of people even in town don't even realize that there's this amazing coffee shop like right off the square um, so I've been here in numerous times before it's not like a place I come to every day or anything like that but I'm very familiar with it um, so I got the dirty cat it's really good it's a mocha um, and there is Ovaltine in it which is amazing um, I absolutely love Ovaltine so it's what I like to get every time I come here um, so I picked up my coffee I went to the post office because I have to get my dad's mail um, address forwarded to my address so I got that taken care of and I went to some yard sales. I found a couple of things. Um, so right now I'm close to my dad's house and Eric's over there fixing the sump pump. So I'm gonna stop over and feed the cats and just check his mailbox to see if there's anything um, there. So that's where I'm going next. So we'll see where the day leads us. All right guys, so I am back here in my room to do the haul for this video. Um, so in the beginning of the video, you guys remember, I was telling you about um, how I had to do the virtual uh, probate court thing. Um, and I was saying about how, how easy it was and I was stressing out about it. So, I, after I went to the post office and to get the coffee, I went over to my dad's house because Eric was putting the sump pump in. I told Eric, I said, after I leave here, because I fed the cats, I said, after I leave here, I'm going to go to a couple more yard sales and then I'll see you at home. So on my way to a couple more yard sales, I get a phone call from the lawyer saying that, um, unfortunately, there has been like an issue that arose and I'm thinking like oh no like what what's wrong <laughs> how much is it going to cost kind of thing like kind of worrying me and she said that when I signed the paper during the virtual like webinar thing um I didn't put my middle name in my signature I just put my first and last name and she said, like, unfortunately, I can't just come in and put my middle name in uh, because that's technically illegal. So I'm going to have to do the virtual probate over again. So I come home and I um, print out the paper that I need to sign. And I call the lady at the Register of Wills and she sets me up with another appointment. Um, she was expecting my call. And I'd say within like um, five minutes, she like sent me the information to get on and sign the paper. It took about like five seconds. Um, but then I had to go back into town to hand in the paper to the lawyer to, you know, get this ball rolling essentially. Um, so everything went okay. There was a hiccup, but everything's okay again. So, um, so because of all of that, I did not get a chance to go to any more yard sales. So I really didn't go to many 
today. I'm gonna try again tomorrow, but as far as today goes, there just wasn't a whole lot that I had had a chance to go to because of all of that. Uh, but I'm gonna show you what I picked up today, and then I do have some stuff from um, the day prior. I was not recording that day. I wasn't even expecting to stop at any yard sales, but I had found a couple and I did not have my camera on me. Um, so I will share with you what I picked up at those sales as well. But as far as today, we'll go through that stuff first. Um, I found this Josie Marin Argon Sugar Balm Body Scrub. <laughs> That's a lot of words there to say. Um, this is huge. It's an 18 fluid ounce tub. And it's in the scent Lim Limoncello. I just can't say that word. And it was $4. So this is brand new. It is still sealed. Now, if you would purchase something like this at like Sephora or somewhere, you know, along those lines, like a higher end type department store that sells beauty products, this probably would have been like 40 some dollars, if not more. Um, so $4 is a little pricey for yard sales, but um, definitely worth it. When I looked this up, someone has one uh, for sale for $52, which I think is a little outrageous. I don't know if maybe that's because this scent is no longer made. I did not see any in sold, so I can't say for sure if that's really what it's worth or anything like that. But I'm definitely willing to sell mine for cheaper than that. Also at the same sale, I got this perfume. It's by a company called Laudable, Laudable Naughty Creation. If you guys can see that, it's kind of like, there we go. It is a roll on. I paid $3 for it. When I looked it up, it really isn't worth a whole lot. So I may, when I sell it, just lot it with like another perfume type of thing instead of trying to sell it individually since it's really not worth much. I didn't even smell it yet, so I'm gonna take a whiff of it. Mmm, it smells really nice. It's a very strong, like florally green smell. I would describe it as green, like just very outdoorsy kind of thing. Um, but yeah. Got that for $3. I don't know how much like it would have retailed for or anything like that, but got that. Um, This was a pretty cool find. I don't always pick up Vera Bradley items. I feel like, I feel like when I see Vera Bradley um, purses and wallets and stuff like that, like they just look dingy is how I would describe it. Like they're just not very vibrant anymore and just not always in like the best looking condition. But this one was very, very bright still. It looks almost like in brand new condition if you ask me. So it's just like a clutch type um, wallet. Looks like that. And then when you open the little thing here, looks like that on the inside. This was a whopping 10 cents a dime. There was like a mark right here. I don't know if you guys will be able to see it, but because of the fabric, I feel like I can probably get that out possibly with some shout. So, but since even still, it's like on the interior, um, I'm not quite sure how much this is necessarily worth, but even if I get like $10 for it, I paid 10 cents. So um, I definitely thought that was a good find. I got these older 101 Dalmatians little ceramic dog. So there's two of them, but these would have um, been part of like a much larger set that I think also included Cruella DeVille. And I believe the Cruella figurine is like rare. It's more harder to find. So if you have her, she's worth more um, type of thing. Um, so I only saw two of the dogs at the sale but I decided to pick them up. I thought they were super cute. They are marked Disney Japan, so they're definitely older and nothing was marked. I asked the lady how much she wanted for them and she said a quarter a piece. So I paid 50 cents for them. So I thought they were so cute. At another sale, I got these snazzy men's kind of dress, dress boots. And these are by Hanover. 
on the toes they kind of got like this western style stitching so they're very dusty but once I get these cleaned up with some leather cleaner they're gonna look really really nice so they were two dollars they are like zip up ones so I got those I just thought they were really nice boots and then at the same sale I got these boots and these are kind of like a combat like a lace-up combat boot slash western boot these ones were five dollars they are by a brand called Laredo I don't know if these are a women's or a men's I'm assuming they're a men's they're a size eight um, but obviously could be worn um, by women as well. I'm just not quite sure what an eight in men's equivalates to in a women's size. Uh, but they have this bit here on the tops and they call this kilty. That's like the technical term for it, kilty, K-I-L-T-Y. So if you would ever find shoes with this kind of like flap style here that's the technical term if you want to use that term to like look up shoes um, that have that so five dollars for those and again once I have them cleaned up they'll look much much better so I'm gonna show you the stuff that I got at the yard sales that I stopped at when I was not filming um, I got a couple of great things uh, the first thing I got was this Etienne bag. This is like a crossbody bag. It has a long, thin strap. I actually think this might be new without tag because the plastic barb is still attached to it. So it's in really nice condition. The inside looks like this, just opens up like that. And then on the back, it has this kind of snap compartment here. So you could probably put um, a cell phone in there or I don't know cigarettes maybe um, I'm not quite sure the the age of this like I don't know if this is like a newer a newer style or an older style I feel like it's not focusing because of the coloring like I'm just getting washed out there um, okay so also at that sale I got this Tigger coffee cup mug. I liked the shape of this and I also liked how tall it is. Sorry, I have something inside of it. So Tigger is all along the bottom here and then he's also around the inside. It's dirty, it needs cleaned. Uh, but this is from the Disney store. So I picked that up and I also got this little Tigger like rubbery vinyl keychain. And this is marked Disney theme park merchandise on the back. So it would have came from uh, one of the parks. And I'm going to, when I list the coffee cup, I'm going to list the keychain with it. So kind of just like lot it up. Nothing was priced. I had no idea what I was paying for my pile until I, until I um, checked out. But I'll get to that because I'm still showing you my pile. Um, I also took this Wrangler belt. I don't know if this is a men's or a women's. It's a size 30, so it could probably be worn by, you know, a man or a lady. But it's leather, just really nice, well made. And again, I'm not quite sure if it's vintage or not, but I took that. Um, this I also got, and I was so upset with myself because. I'm horrible when it comes to not noticing when there's something wrong with something I'm picking up when Eric's not not with me because um, I need his eagle eyes. But I found this really awesome wall hanging, this Noah's Ark wall hanging. How gorgeous is this? The coloring, everything about it is beautiful. Well, there's a chip out of the side right there, which is so sad. Um, but it says that it was made in El Salvador. Just has like a little story there printed on the back so that was really upsetting I don't know if I'm going to list that now because of the chip I'm not sure and then I also got this plate this tray I really liked the print on it I thought it was super pretty and this is by Villaroy and Bach and so my whole pile of all of that stuff was five dollars so I thought that was a great deal so even even though the Noah's Ark 
might not list that. Um, but between like the purse and the mug and the belt and maybe potentially the tray, not sure. I definitely still feel like that was a great deal for $5. And then I stopped at another sale and got three shirts. Um, the first one is a men's pearl snap button down shirt by Wrangler. I love picking up the pearl snap button shirts. Some of them sell pretty quickly and other ones not as quickly. Um, I still do have some for sale that haven't sold yet, but I guess it also depends on size as well. So that was 25 cents. And then I found these two older, I would say these are from the 90s. Uh, Brooks and Dunn is who they're made by. Button up shirts. So I think the man and the lady each had their own. Like they had like a matching set so they could be twinsies. <laughs> maybe at a concert or you know just for fun dressing up together maybe they went out dancing but this one is the men's shirt which looks like this and then this is the women's shirt it's slightly different ever so slightly different um design but this one has shoulder pads and it's you know a women's women's size sizing you know, because of the men's, the men's have the buttons on, the men's have the buttons on the other side, you know that, um, as far as button-up shirts go. And then the men's size has, like, the chest size and stuff like that. And so, this one is the shoulder pads and the regular sizing and women's buttons. But, definitely, they were twinsies that day. That's cute. That is really cute. So, those were 25 cents a piece. And then lastly, I have a bag of stuff, just a, a couple little things that I had gotten at a yard sale months ago, months ago, that I never hauled and I was kind of just hanging on to and I kept forgetting about it. Every time I made a haul video, I kept forgetting about it. So we're gonna go through it in this video. I don't even remember what all is in the bag. Um, <laughs> I got this ceramic, teapot stand by Victoria and Albert Museum. This was one dollar. It was still in the box. I just thought it was so pretty. So this you would use to um, sit your hot teapot on. It's kind of like a trivet type thing, but I just thought it was really, really pretty and it was only a dollar. So I got that. I got this Ralph Lauren, Lauren Active. Um, just a little short sleeve shirt. It was brand new with the tags and it says it was originally, well, on clearance for $24.99. It's an extra small. I don't like picking up um, extra small just because it's harder, I think, to sell. But since it was new with tag, I decided to get it. And um, I got this at a church sale, I remember. And I think their clothes were only 50 cents a piece. So I paid 50 cents for that. And this was also from the church sale. Um, I think they ended up charging me a quarter for it. It says it's made in Ireland. I loved the fact that it was still in the packaging. It's like a, a vintage women's like linen handkerchief. So it's in pristine condition, still, still sealed. Oh, no, it was 50 cents. I'm sorry. I think I said um, a quarter. But I just love the fact that it was still sealed. And then... I've never really sold art prints before on eBay. I, I, I don't know anything about these. <laughs> I really don't. I was just kind of drawn to them. Um, these were by someone named, no, yeah, Christopher Paul Bolin, B-O-L-L-E-N. And they are so well made. Like the drawing of that is absolutely gorgeous. They're in these really nice frames. Like they must have gotten them, you know, actually professionally framed. Um, I don't really know if they're worth anything. They were a dollar a piece, but both both prints are by the same the same guy. So that's the other one. 
So I don't really know, I don't, I don't know anything about art <laughs> or art prints or anything like that as far as like value. Uh, but I decided to give them a whirl for a dollar. I just never know if it's better to sell something like this in the frame that it's in and then have the person decide if they want to keep it in that frame uh, but potentially costing the customer more because obviously it's going to cost more to ship um, in a, like a heavy frame like this or if it's better to take them out of the frame and then just sell the print um, and then have them decide what frame they want it to be in and it would cost less because it wouldn't weigh as much. I'm just always torn by that, like whether to keep them in original frames or to take them out of the frames that they're in. <laughs> so I haven't decided yet what I'm doing. I feel like they they look good in these frames, um, but I just don't know. But they were a dollar a piece, so we'll see. We'll see if anyone buys them, I have no idea. <laughs> Sometimes I look at stuff like that and I'm like, oh my gosh, do I want to ship that? Is it worth my time to ship? How much is it even worth? I have no idea because I really just don't know um, my artists, I guess. Um, but that is everything for this video. I feel like it might have been a little on the longer side. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed. I sometimes feel like I'm just forgetting stuff, like I'm forgetting to show something, I don't know. Uh, but yeah, I hope you enjoyed and I will see you next time.